Are you eating cereal? That's so much sugar first thing in the morning. Actually, Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar. 14 grams of protein and only four net grams of carbs in each serving? Yeah, and it's only 140 calories. Do they have more flavors than just peanut butter? Yep, there's fruity, frosted, blueberry, cocoa, and cinnamon. Okay, you've convinced me. Why are you pouring the milk in first? Don't judge me. Magic Spoon is also gluten-free, grain-free, GMO-free, soy-free, low-carb, and keto-friendly. Why is he in my cereal? And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed by a 100% guarantee. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. See, if you didn't put the milk in first, you could have drowned him with it. Click the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your own variety box and use our code MANSHORTS for $5 off. Choose from the classics or try the new cinnamon and blueberry. And for our Canadian friends, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada. So click the link in the description and use the promo code MANSHORTS for $5 off your order today. Man Shorts. Welcome to Los Santos. I assume the three of you are criminals? I consider myself more of a villainous mastermind. But sure, criminal works. I just want to kill stuff. Guys, I think we should rob a casino. I mean, that's a quick way to make cash. Oh, you think the heists are quick? What do you need money for? I took Path of the Modder, so I can get you just about anything you want. No way, dude. My character wants to earn money the old-fashioned way. I just want to kill stuff. Okay. Everybody roll initiative. Fifteen. Thirteen. Twenty. I'm guessing your mods just let you do whatever you want? No. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, you're up first. So what would you like to do with your unlimited power? I'm gonna get in a Hydra and just start attacking other players on the server. Sounds like fun for literally no one else but you. Also, isn't the Hydra a VTOL jet? Those things cost like four million dollars. And it cost me... A bonus action to spawn one. Fine. Lance, you mentioned a heist? Yeah, like can we go Ocean's Eleven on a casino or something? Sure, although you'll need to do quite a bit of prep work before you actually start the heist. Oh, okay, well that shouldn't take long. Uh, what do I do first? Give me a survival check to scope out the casino. 19. You successfully take a series of photos that will help you determine the best entry and exit points. Wow. What an exciting mission. If it makes you feel any better, the rest of the prep work is just as boring. Justin, you're up. Well, first I'm gonna need to steal a car. Are there any around? Fortunately for you, there's a buccaneer parked across the street. Give me a dex check to hotwire it. 15. And do you have a lockpick set? Oh, I do. I get it as a criminal, so 18. You successfully hotwire the car. Do you wanna go anywhere in particular? I'm going to the nearest gun store. You mark it on the map and start heading that way. What's next, Killjoy? Do I see any players doing anything important? Give me a perception check. Oh no. 20. You see a user named Please Don't Kill Me, who seems to be very carefully driving a postal truck. It looks like they're doing a meth delivery for their motorcycle club. Perfect, I'm gonna fire my rockets at the truck. Huh, net 20. The postal truck erupts into a fireball of death. I hope you're happy with yourself. Oh, I am. <laughs> Just think of all the money he lost. Lance, the next part of the heist prep requires you to steal a hacking device from a government facility. Okay, this seems like just a lot of hassle. How much money am I gonna get from the casino anyway? It depends on a number of variables, many of which won't be resolved until you actually do it. Give me a stealth check to see if you can infiltrate the government facility. Three. The police kill you. You can try again on your next turn. This is not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Justin, you're right around the corner from ammunition. Give me a drive check. Nine. As you're turning the corner, you run a red light and an NPC crashes into your car. Take 11 damage. I'm going to shoot whoever hit me in their face. Roll your attack. 17. That hits. Roll damage. 25. The long blare of a car horn drones as the guy you shot slumps forward onto the steering wheel. A woman screams and all of the cars in the area begin speeding away. See Lance, this 
is how you play. Waylon, when you killed Please Don't Kill Me, he pointed out to chat that you're a modder, and now everyone won't stop asking you for a money drop. <sighs> I'm gonna tell him I don't know how to do that. Give me a bluff check. Eleven. Most of them don't believe you. Lance, do you want to try stealing the hacking device again? No. Uh, what else can I do? Isn't there a quick way to make some cash? You could rob a corner store. Great. Uh, I'll do that. When you enter the store and pull your weapon, the man behind the counter raises his hands in the air. Give me an intimidation check. <sighs> One. Take 48 damage. What? Oh, the clerk shot you with his shotgun. Justin, the police have arrived. How many stars do I have? Currently, two. But if you shoot at the cops, you're probably- Oh, I'm shooting at the cops. 21 in a nat 20. You kill two cops. You now have three stars. Waylon, are you going to continue your quest to ruin everyone's day? Dude, relax. It's just a game. And besides, if I'm feeling generous later, I might do a money drop. Oh, I could use one of those. I'm going to need more ammo soon. Well, it seems like the Venn diagram of modders and people who want to ruin other people's gaming experience is a circle. Lance? I don't want to play anymore. That makes two of us. We'll just put this in the not a great idea in practice pile. What's his deal? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's frustrated that this just devolved into us trying to kill everybody that we see. That's the essence of Grand Theft Auto. He's right. I'm surprised none of us picked up a prostitute. Wait a minute. I know what it is. It's Sarah. What is? That makes sense. I mean, the reason he's been acting so weird lately is because he misses her as much as we do. You're not going to have to miss her too much because she's coming back next week. Are we rolling? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, first I'm going to need to steal a car. Are there any around? I don't know what the fuck that was. I consider myself more of a crim- uh, nope, not criminal. My dice magically appeared in front of me. Don't be a maroon. Silence your phone. Uh, I do, as a criminal. <sighs> One. Don't cut. It was a 20. That was acting! Ooh, so believable. I'm I so excited. Know. I don't know where I'm going there. I'm gonna shoot whoever hit me. The mic started moving. Good boy. Wow. <laughs> Holes in my head, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I rolled a twenty and a one. No way, dude. My character wants to earn money the old-fashioned way. Okay. All right. I do that all the time. If I'm in Grand Theft Auto and an NPC fucking, like, hits me, especially if they're like, watch it, asshole. I'm like, oh, you're dead. There's no coming back for you. <laughs> He's been acting so weird lately because he misses her as much as we do. Fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using it when the tension and the room stick I'm victim on doomsick I'm giving them something they gotta consume quick Speaking of which, I've been spending every minute of the last 10 years of my life Learning to turn my concerns and yearnings into my returns and earnings I stay churning out the content I've been doing my best to not get caught up in the nonsense But we all get caught up anyway